Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I built this language translation web app. And basically, you can convert one language to another. And this works similar to the Google Translate that is on the web today, where you can enter in a language and it converts it there. So I kind of mimic that with a web app, where I can enter here... English to Spanish and uh, I can enter what I want to convert and then hit translate and I get my output and again works very similar to Google Translate what I'm using with this web app is a Google App Script function called language app translate where you put in the source of the language to the target language and then you put your string in. So I'm using this to generate my output. So I'll go over a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you are new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I'm on my Google Sheet. I got a name Translation Web App and my sheet name is Languages. And here I have a list of all the languages in the code. And the reason I need to trap this information is for this, this function I have to call with the Google Apps Script. And it has these codes that you have to pass in for the source language and the target language. And where I found those codes is here on this sheet, on this address here. I'll post this in the description. But here it gives you a list of all the languages that it supports and the code here. Now when I, I copied it, what I did is just did a straight copy paste here into my Google Sheet. But I also cleaned up some of this. I took this out, this, and when it said or, I kind of took that out as well and just kept the first part of here. Again with this, I kind of cleaned this up. So that got me my list of languages here of all the languages that it uses to convert now I didn't test all these languages I only test a very few of them but I'm not sure all of them work but I have them all listed so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our Google App Script I'm gonna hit tools script editor I'm gonna give it a name Translation web app, hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to copy in my Google Apps Script code. So there I have it copied. I'm going to hit Save. The next thing I'm going to create my HTML page. I'm going to go to File, New, an HTML file. And one thing I'm going to tell you here is I am going to post the Google Apps Script code and the HTML code in the comments below the video. And uh, I'll post the URLs to the language list and the um, documentation for the Google Apps Script translation code function. I'll put the links to those two things in the description. So the code will be in the comments. These will be in the description. So let's get started with putting a name here. I'm going to call this the same name I have up here in my do get statement here where it says web app. So I'm going to put web app. I'm going to hit OK. Next, I'm going to copy in my HTML JavaScript code. OK, so there I got it pasted. I'm going to save it. Um, I'm going to start with the Google Apps Script code. And this first statement is a standard function for web apps. This do get function, this is what you need so you can go ahead and do this deploy to web app it has to have this function in here. And what this does is it opens up the web app HTML file. It renders it open. And this, how, this is what gets the web app started. So this statement is needed. And I am putting the name of my HTML file here called web app. So next we'll go over to our web app. I'm going to go through the HTML code, which is always on the bottom between the body tags here. And Basically, I got my header called language translation. I got two select statements. 
one from my from language, the next to my to language, where I'm converting from to to. Uh, the next thing is I'm doing my text area to put my string, text string in for my from language. So I got a label called from language, and in my text area, I got the ID called language from string. Uh, the next, I'm putting my button in there, my translate button. With, it has an on-click trigger event of translate language. And that's a JavaScript function that I'll go over. And then I got my two language text area. Where that's where the result comes in. The translation result comes in and gets populated in this box. And then my last statement is load language. Load language JavaScript call that's up here calls this function. It's a JavaScript function. It goes all the way down here. But what it does is it calls a Google App Script function. So it calls the JavaScript function, and within that is a Google App Script function, which is this is this big statement here, and the function that's calling it is get languages right here. So we'll go back over here and get languages. So within this, I'm calling my active spreadsheet. I'm declaring my languages sheet, language sheet, my languages. I'm getting the last row of that sheet that's populated. And then from there, I'm starting with row 2, column 1, going down to my last row of the sheet that's populated, minus 1 for my header, and I'm doing two columns over. So I'll go back to my sheet here. So this is my sheet called languages. I'm starting here with row two. I don't want my header record here. I'm going all the way down to the second column with my last row down here. And I'm grabbing this data. And what I'm returning basically is an array of information. And this array is kind of set up like this is a zero. It's a multi-array. So this is the zero record with this being 0 and this being 1. This is the 1 record with this being 0 and 1 within that 1 record. So it's a multi-tiered array. So that's getting returned back to my JavaScript function right here. AR right here is coming through this function. AR stands for array. And uh, the first thing I'm doing is I'm getting I'm declaring my object for the first select statement, the from select statement, and the to select statement. Basically what I'm doing is I'm filling up my select statements from my from language to my to language, which are down here. So I got my language from select statement and I got my language to, identified by the IDs. And then from there, I got this console log, which I'll show you how this works. It actually there's a way you can see this data move from your Google Apps Script to your web app. This is for debugging. I use this for debugging. This is not necessary part of this function, but I have it in there, and I could show you how that is used. The next, I'm setting up a blank option. So the first option I'm going to put in my select is a blank one. That kind of forces you to select a language when it's blank instead of putting one right at the start. So, again, I got my blank option one. I'm setting up two of these, one for each select statement. So I got my blank option one, blank option two. I'm setting each to nothing, the value in the text for each of these. And then I'm appending it to one of them to language from select and the other one to language to select. So now I got two blanks in my select. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my array of languages. And what's coming out is the item and the index. The only thing I'm going to be worrying about is the item. So I'm going to go be doing a for each loop through each one of these array elements. And then for each of these, I'm setting up a value option 1, value option 2 for my different select statements. And for each one of those, I'm setting the value would be the code of my language. It would be this. And then the the text would be the actual language itself. So this is why item is 1, which is the second part of my array, and then the 0 would be the language. 
So I'm setting those for each of these and then I'm appending to my select statement. And that ends this function. And in this function, all that does is it populates my select drop down elements down here. So from there is like you the next thing you would be doing is typing in your from language, what you want converted, and then then you would be clicking the button. The button is right here and it has a JavaScript function called translate language. So if I go up to the top here, I got translate language. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm getting the value of my language from select statement. And I'm getting the value of my to language. So these would be the codes that are coming out of here. This would be like this code and this code, depending on what you select. And then I'm also grabbing the from string that you typed in. And then from there, I'm calling another Google Apps Script function called get translate. And I'm passing these parameters in. I'm passing language from in there, language to, and language string through these. I'm going to go over to my Google Apps Script code here, and I got these coming in my from, my to, and my string. And now here I'm just calling this translate function which is the same thing as this right here. I'm basically going step by step on this documentation. So I'm putting my string in here, the from and the to, and then from there I am returning the output of this. So then that output is coming back up here, language output, and then from there I'm populating it in the text area with this inner HTML assigning it to that. So that is getting passed to this ID, this text box down here. So that is how this software all interacts together. So the next thing we'll do is we'll publish it. So I'm going to hit publish, deploy to web app, I'm hit new. I'm going to execute as myself and only myself can use it. And we're going to go through authorization. and allow. Okay, here I got my URL here that I could use, but I am going to use my development URL for here. And that's going to open it up. And then from there I can select my language. And I go English to Spanish. If I can find it. There and I could say just a simple hi, translate it in the hola. So that's how this all comes together. I can show you the console log output that I have in the code here. I got this array and that's showing what's coming through. These are my array elements coming through and that is coming from this element right here. So once I post this, I can go through my development tools over here and I can see that output as it's coming through. And another thing to mention about deploying the web app, again, if I do make any changes in here, I can go back up here, publish. I need to do another version of it to see my latest changes. But if I'm just testing, and again, if you're doing a new version, it'll give you a new URL to your most recent code. But if you're just testing your web app, you can hit latest code and then you get this, what, what's on the end is a dev, just for testing your latest changes. And if your changes look good and everything looks fine, then you can go ahead and re version your project up again get a new URL, and that's the one you could share out to everybody to use. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.